Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to Sudoku, you, and it's the remix! Yeah, I have no idea if this is supposed to be a reference to the musical six, but I'm making it one. Actually, I'm not making it one. The puzzle is what it is, but I always think of the musical six when I hear those words at the moment. This is It's the Remix by Zhao Boudian, of course, part of the Sudoku U series, um, which um, Zhao Boudian being um, one of the students of, or was one of the students of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards as Puzzles and Paradoxes class. So um, really good stuff there. So... Um, I think let's just get into the puzzle. Links below to this puzzle, as well as to the previous Signet Sudoku packs, which includes puzzles released by um, many of the students of the class. This puzzle will be coming in Signet Sudoku Volume 3 whenever that's released. Don't know when that is yet, but I'll let you know when I know. Let's have a look at the puzzle. So we've got normal Sudoku rules. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We have cages. Digits in cages cannot repeat and must sum to the value shown in the upper left corner of the cage. So these three digits sum to 12. These three digits sum to 17. Those two sum to 15. Um, that's how cages work. And Renban line. Digits along a Renban line, which are these purple or pink lines, whichever color you prefer, uh, must form a set of non-repeating consecutive digits in any order. So for example, along this line, these could be 234, 345, 456, um, but they we couldn't make these like 457, for example, because if you were to take the numbers off and sort them, 457 is not a consecutive set of digits, but they can go in any order. Um, so 456 would be fine because um, as long as the digits on them are a consecutive run, it doesn't matter the order of the digits on the line. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I can tell what those two digits are, I think, because this is a two. So these digits are 17 minus two. So those sum to 15 and these digits see each other because they're in a cage and in the same row. So how can you make 15? Well, you could do nine plus six, except six is not available. The next option is eight plus seven. And then if you keep going down, it'd be seven plus eight, which is the same thing. We're repeating ourselves so we can stop. So these are seven and eight. Okay. Um, we know that these digits sum to 8 because it's 12 minus 4. But there's multiple ways of doing that. Let's use the given cages. This is a 6 cage. The minimum digits you can put into 3 cells is 1, 2, 3, which sums to 6. This is the same. This is a 6 cage. So these are 1, 2, 3. And that might impact this Renban line because I can't put 1, 2, or 3 on this. So if I was to put 1 on this line, this line would become 1, 2, 3, 4. And therefore, 1, 2, and 3 would need to exist in both of those cells because I couldn't put 1, 2, or 3 here. The minimum here is 4 and 5. So if I put four and five on this line, I can't get down to one because um, five, four, three, two doesn't work. I can't put one here. This is the one. These are two, three. I can't go down because I can't put one on this line. These are a four and a five, which probably matters for this because this is a 10 cage. Yeah, this is a six. This is a three cell... 10 cage with a 6 in it. Those digits there have to sum to 4. The only way to do that is 1 plus 3. The next option would be 2 plus 2, which doesn't work. The next option is 3 plus 1, which is the same as 1 plus 3, so we can stop. The 1, 3 is looking down, making that the 2 and that the 3. And we're getting more options. This is a 5 cage. So this is either 1... F well, there is a 3 down here by Sudoku because I can't put three in any of those, but this is either one, four or two, three. If it's one, four, I don't know the order. If it's two, three, it's two here and three here. So this could never be a three. 24, the maximum digits you can put in three cells are seven, eight and nine, and they sum to 24. So these must be seven, eight and nine. So there must be a six on this line. I'm jumping all over the place again, but okay, these sum to seven. Well, one, three, one, three, one, three, that's fine. But two is in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Two, three, four, I can't get, this can't be a two, because then this line would need to contain two, three, four, five to get to six. And two, these would have to... Uh, these would have to be three, four, and five, and I can't put three on the line at all. That's not the two, that's the two. Six, if this went down at all, this can't be a digit lower than six. This has to be at least a seven. 
because if I went down, it'd be five, four, three. So this would have to be from five, four or three, and I can't put five, four or three in it. So this has to be at least a seven. So this is a seven, eight or nine, but nine, eight, seven, six. And this is also six, seven, eight or nine, because how do you make a 15 cage? You can't use a digit as low as five in a 15 cage or the other digit would need to be 10 or higher. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, but it can't be a six because you can't repeat six on the Ren band line. So if this is this is six, seven, or eight, and if these are seven, eight, nine, I've got two digits above six. So this is either five or it's from seven, eight, nine. And I'm not sure which. I am. I really am. This is cool. Where is this six in box eight? Because this six can't repeat in its row, it can't repeat on its line, and I can't put a six in a five cage. I can't put a six in either of those two cells because that would repeat six on the line. This is the six, this is the nine, and to get between six and nine, these now have to be seven and eight. So this is a seven, eight pair, and they're different. There must be a five on this line because this is below five, so I must have a five on this line. And there must be a four on this line somewhere as well. This can't be a four. If this was a four, this would be a one. And then I'd need a four. This line would need to be one, two, three, four, five. And it can't be. This can never be a one. So this can't be a four. But there must be a four on this line. If this is two, three, four, five, there's a four on the line. But that just proved this couldn't be a four in a different way. Okay. I, so I've got one and three on this line. So this line must have, I must connect this one three on this line. So this line is five digits long and it's got a one and a five on it. So this must be one, two, this must be one, two, three, four, five. So these are two and four and the two is making that the four and that the two. Which means this isn't a two. But four is now in one of those two. If that's four, this is two, three. If that's four, four is in one of those two. I, mm, do I need a five on this line? Otherwise, if I don't, it's seven, eight, nine which might be possible. What about this line? This is either one, two, three, or two, three, four. So these are only from one, three, four. And they must contain a three, because if it's one, two, three, it's got a three on it. And if it's two, three, four, it's got a three on it. So there must be a three in one of those two. Does that restrict this with those summing to 13? Those sum to 13. Well, they can't be nine, four. So they're either eight, and they can't be eight, five. This is a seven, six. How do we get this to its total? 18 minus five is 13. So nine, four doesn't work because of that nine. Eight, five doesn't work because of that five. This must be seven, six. And this six means that this is the seven and this is the six. The seven is looking down, making this the eight and this the seven. And this is actually from one, two, three, four, but it can't be a three. This is one, two, or four only. Can I narrow that down? Two is in one of those two. Yes, this can't be a two. If this was a two, I would need a three on this line, but the two would make that the three. So two would put three here, and then I couldn't connect two to six because two here would make this three, four, five, and I'd have two threes in row nine. That's the four. So that's the one. That's the two. This isn't the four. That's the four. And this is the three. Very nice. And we must put a five in one of those two. And it's either two, three, four, five, six, or three, four, five, six, seven. So these are two from two, five, seven. There's no two in there because I've already got a two in the box. This is a five, seven pair. So these are eight and nine. 
So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. That is a seven, making that the eight and that the seven. So these are known, five and eight, which takes eight out of both of those, making that the eight. And I can't put eight on this line anymore, so that can't be a nine. That was probably there earlier. But if this was a nine, I'd need to connect. Yeah, this could never have been a nine because five, six, seven, eight, this could never go as high as nine. That's the seven, that's the nine. But I must put a six in one of those two and that six says it's not there. This is six. So five, six, seven, this is either four or eight and it can't be an eight, so that's the four. That's because it had to be four, five, six, seven or five, six, seven, eight. And the eight prevented it from being the eight. These sum to nine now, and eight and five would have summed to 13 anyway, which meant this would have had to have been minus one. But these sum to nine, so this is the three, looking across, making that the one and that the three, taking three out of there, making that the three. Excellent. This digit is the nine that has not been placed in the box. I'm, this can't be an eight. Two, three, four, five, six is the highest that could be. So that's the five, that's the eight. Two, three, I do need to put a four in one of those two. And it's either one, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five, six. So these are from one, four, six. I can't put a one or a six there. So that's the four, and this is the one, six. The four looks back, making that the five and that the four. This row is missing its nine. The four is looking up, making that the one. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. The nine is looking across, making that the eight and that the nine. So this row is missing its five. There's a pair missing in this box, which is one or a two. And the one will make that the two and that the one. Haven't resolved that five, seven yet, but I'll get there. Okay, haven't put a two in this row and there's a two already in box five. So that's the two and the digits we haven't placed are one, six and seven. And there must be a seven in one of those two. That seven is saying that that is not the seven. So this is the seven, this is a one or a six. In this box, oh, the one just makes that the six and that the one. Because I was looking, looking, saying, hang on a minute, I've got to place one, four, five, and six, but I've only got three empty cells. And that's because the one resolved that. But this is now a four, five, and the five is looking up, making that the four and that the five. This is a triple, six, eight, and nine. Now I can't repeat six on this line. If this is a nine, this is an eight. Seems okay. Eight comes out of here, nine comes out of here. If this is a nine, this is an eight. If this is an eight, this is either a nine or a five, and it can't be a five. So this is an eight or a nine, because this can't be a five, six, seven, eight, nine line, because I can't put five anywhere on the line. So this is a six, seven, eight, nine line. So what's this triple? Can't be one, two, three, four, five, eight, or nine. But if this was an eight or a nine, an eight here would mean this is a zero. A nine here would mean this has to be a minus one. This is the five. And five and four is nine, making that three. Now, interestingly enough, that's going to massively impact this line because this line needs to have something consecutive with four on it because it needs to be, because it, um, the line can be two, three, four, three, four, five, or four, five, six, but they're the only possibilities. And it can't be three, four, five now, because that can't be three or four. So it's either two, well, uh, it, yeah, it must have a three or a five on it somewhere. And this has to be the three or the five, and the five is looking up making this the three. So this is either two, three, four, or three, four, five, and I can't put five on the line at all. So this is a two, three, four line, which says this isn't the two, the one, three pair now makes that the two. There may have been an easier way of seeing that, but now where's one in this box? Because I can't put one on this line because one on the line would make the line one, two, three, the only digits you can put on a Rembad line once you put a one on it. So I can't put one in any of these cells, that becomes the one. 
And surely now this, ha yeah, there must be a six on this line and I can't go down. So this line automatically becomes six, seven, eight. That becomes the nine. That becomes the eight, which makes that the nine on the line. The eight makes that the six and that the nine. The six means there's no six here. That's the seven, eight. That's the six. The three looks across, making that the one and that the three. Good fun stuff. I'm, I'm enjoying this one a lot. So in this row, I haven't put a one. So they're one, seven, and eight. So these are one, seven, and eight. The one here says this isn't the one. So this is the one. In this column, I haven't put five, seven, eight. It's going to be this line now. It has to be because it's all I've got left. Well, let's do this column. I've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, no, I don't have an eight. I missed the five. I don't have an eight. So that's the eight, making that the seven and that the eight. Now I'm basically down to Sudoku. This is the four on the line. So this has to be the five to connect the four to the six and the seven. That's the five. Looking down, making that the seven and that the five. And now the whole thing's going to fall apart. In this, co well, it has already fallen apart. I'm only down to a single box, which if I haven't made a mistake, even Bremster can do. Um, in this column, I haven't placed a nine. I could have used the row for that. That makes this a seven, eight pair in the box. And I'll use that seven to make that the eight and that the seven. And that is a beautiful little puzzle. Not been solved in Sudoku pad before, but that's cool. Really good stuff. This is the remix. So I had no choice. Okay, that was really, really fun. And if you've never seen the musical six, give it a listen. Listen to the New York um, opening night performance rather than the studio recording. It, it's better. But this is still really good puzzle. Really good puzzle. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the Sudoku U series. We're done with the students puzzle and tomorrow night will be the lecturer's notes. So a puzzle from full deck and missing a few cards. Looking forward to that one. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.